Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week is wire for the AI world. OpenAI just dropped open weight models you can actually run locally at home. Yes, the GPT OS 20B on a 16 GB memory. So today I'll show you how to get it running with Olama in minutes and we'll see how my Mac survives. Let's go. Open AI launched TBT5 for developers and released TBT OS 120B and TBT OS 20B as open ways. So um, let's think about this. 120B is aimed for single GPU servers like 80 GB H100. Meantime, the 20B targets local use within 16 GB of memory. So um, that means one is for data center and the other one can sit on your desk and be local. So today we're focusing on the 20B. So if you go to Hawking Face OpenAI GBT OS 20B, it will tell you multiple examples how to use. So first you can use transformers here, um, install, pip install, and then run transformer pipeline. So I tried this on my A100 GPU would have which had 40 GB and it crashed my kernel. So we're not gonna do that today. We will be using Olama. You know I love local model and how it's fast for our dev. So we're going to do Olama pull and then try Olama run on my local 16 GB Pro Mac. Now let's go into Olama and see what is the spec that they require. This is Olama blog. They write about GPT OS and they mention here this smaller model can run on a system as little as 16 GB memory. We shall see about that because my Mac is 16 GB and it is struggle. And a larger model to fit on 80 GB GPU. This one can be like a single, um, single GPU from NVIDIA, like H100. So that being said, this is the new user interface for 20B parameters models. And then this is the user interface for 120B parameter models. For this to be run, if you have an old um, Olama version, you have to update. So then once you update, you start Olama, you'll see this. All right, let's get ready. So I'm on Mac. There's two ways to run Olama. So you can do Olama run on your terminal. However, I just got Olama updated. So we're going to do Olama and we're going to open Olama here. So you can see the new user interface here where you can choose all of the model that is available um, on Olama. So let's see, we do TBT OS 20B and we say, hello. If you don't have the model, it will show you downloading the model here, as you can see just now. So since I already run, I already pulled this model locally, it will, you know, directly go into the chat interface. So it will take you a while to get this run because you have to download around 13 GB um, this model locally. And here's the catch. It will keep thinking, I would say, forever on my Mac 16 GB as the requirement. But of course, there is like multiple things that going on running my on my Mac. So I don't have that whole 16 GB available. So I would say bump it up to even more, like run it on a 100 GBU just to make sure that you have enough room for the model to reasoning to think. So like this, if you want to perform some like developer tasks such as coding tasks or rack or using tools, there is no way a local machine like Mac 16 GB Pro can be using. So with this being said, how do we make it a little bit faster? 
here is some twist that I run on Llama to make it run faster. I'm gonna show you after this. So first thing we wanna do is to open our terminal and then we run Llama run gpt os 20 b All right, so one wait until you see these two little error here and we're gonna do set parameter and I hit enter. Oopsie. Um, set parameter. All right, now it's correct. So you see the available parameters here that you can change, you can um, modify. So we'll see first this thing, set parameter num GPU. So see the number of layers, transformer layers you want to send to the GPU. Let's do that. To E the job of CPU, so we're gonna do num GPU, let's do 25. All right, so it's set to 25. Now, next stop we are going to do is to set parameter. Let's see what else we're gonna do, context size. So let's do a smaller context size, which means you cannot put on a long prompt. But for now, we're going to do that just to make sure that we can run locally and we can see if it can say hello to us back, right? So I'm going to do set parameter num contact to um, 5.2. So it's like very standard. And then the next, is there anything else that we wanted to do here? Max number of token to predict. So um, this could be run as well. So you wanted to like number of token to predict would mean you also like wanted to shrink the number of like the the con like the length of the prediction as well. But okay, let's just stop there for now, and we're gonna do save um GBT as new faster model. Okay, this is our new name. This is gonna be my new name and I hit enter and then bye. Now let's go to Olama. All right, now let's see. We have this here, TBT OS new faster model. So I'm gonna switch to this model and see if it can really, really do the job. So here's the result. I wish I can show you live, but there is no way I can run this together with um, recording my screen with camera on. This is no way, so I have to do this offline. Hello, we have it here. So before this, I run for a hundred seconds, and it did not give me back the hello. But this one is tough for okay, third eleven seconds. And here you can see the talks. Okay, we need to respond. So I just respond politely and then it respond me back. And then I say, list all of your capabilities that could help me as developer. It's top for 59 seconds, so like one minute. And this is the full of the talks. And then here is like, it's latest for me below all of the toolkits that it has. And this took a while for it to list it out. So long story short, can you run um, GPT OS 20B on your local machine with 16 GB memory RAM? Yes, you can, but do you have the patience to wait? And this is just like a Q&A sample. I don't think, honestly, I don't think you can perform any tasks like rack or using tool with your local machine 16 GB. There is no way unless you have the patience to wait so yeah my my thought on this is well it does run but i cannot test the ability of like local rack yet just because i don't have the spec that is needed although it's list for 16 gb but i think you do definitely need higher even when i do trend um transformer and hugging phase in the A100 GPU, which is around 40 GB memory, it still cannot run as I expected. So I wish this can be a little bit smaller so I can test it out locally. Let me know your thought. Thank you so much.